Gideon was threshing wheat when the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Go and rescue Israel from the Midianites. I am sending you. But Lord, Gideon replied, How can I rescue Israel? The Lord said to him, I will be with you. Later, Gideon said to God, If you are truly going to use me to rescue Israel as you promised, prove it to me in this way. I will put a wool fleece on the threshing floor tonight. If the fleece is wet with dew in the morning, but the ground is dry, then I will know that you are going to help me rescue Israel as you promised. And that is just what happened. When Gideon got up early the next morning, he squeezed the fleece and wrung out a whole bowl of water. Then Gideon said to God, Please don't be angry with me, but let me make one more request. Let me use the fleece for one more test. This time, let the fleece remain dry while the ground around it is wet with dew. So that night, God did as Gideon asked. The fleece was dry in the morning, but the ground was covered with dew. So Gideon went down to the edge of the enemy camp. The enemy armies were too many to count. Gideon divided the 300 men into three groups and gave each man a ram's horn and a clay jar with a torch in it. Then he said to them, Keep your eyes on me. When I come to the edge of the camp, do just as I do. As soon as I and those with me blow the ram's horns, blow your horns too all around the entire camp and shout, For the Lord and for Gideon! It was just after midnight, after the changing of the guard, when Gideon and the 100 men with him reached the edge of the Midianite camp. Suddenly they blew the ram's horns and broke their clay jars. Then all three groups blew their horns and broke their jars. They held the blazing torches in their left hands and the horns in their right hands, and they all shouted, A sword for the Lord and for Gideon! Each man stood at his position around the camp and watched as all the Midianites rushed around in a panic, shouting as they ran to escape. The Lord caused the warriors in the camp to fight against each other with their swords. Then the Israelites chased the Midianites. This Bible story reminds us that God helps us be courageous. I wonder, was Gideon surprised when the fleece was wet? What do you think? We are making rain clouds today and I started by taking a plastic cup and poking holes in it and I put my cotton balls in the cup and I set the cup inside the jar and what we're going to do is we're going to pour some of our, I put blue food coloring in our water so we can watch it. Okay, leave the cups and we'll, I'm going to help pour some water into each of your cups, okay? Take your hand, take your hand and cover the top of your cup. Oh, you might need used. Did it stop raining? Yeah, it looks like it's raining. First Chronicles 1615. God keeps his promises forever. God keeps his promises forever. First Chronicles 16, 15. 
All right, now we're gonna say it in a super low, deep voice. Ready? God keeps his promises forever. First Chronicles 16, 15. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna say it in a super high-pitched voice. <laughs> now we're gonna say it like we have no teeth. Ready? God keeps his promises forever. First Chronicles 16, 15. <laughs> God keeps his promises forever. First Chronicles 16, 15. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And remember, I love Jesus, does he know? Have I ever told him so? Jesus likes to hear me say that I love him every day. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus, in prayer I tell him so. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>